New Miami Dolphins receiver Robert Foster was never really used to his abilities while with the Buffalo Bills but he may not get the chance in Miami. Foster signed a free agent contract with the Dolphins back in March and all but $100,000 of the $1.05 million is recoverable. Foster faces tough competition for a roster spot this year and the Dolphins really don't have much room for him, even if roster cuts are made with other players. In his two years with the Buffalo Bills, Foster caught 62 passes for 605 yards and three scores. Last year, Foster played for Washington and only caught two passes for 37 yards in his four games. There are things to like about Foster's game. He has good hands and runs good routes and has quality speed but speed isn't something lacking at the position for Miami. Foster has to show that he can be more than a quick receiver. Honestly, I'm not sure there are enough reps for him camp this year to prove himself. He may be one of those players that uses the preseason games as an audition for other teams. His problem is that there are simply too many other receivers. Jalen Waddell, Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, and Preston Williams. Then you get into the competitions for a roster spot with Jakeem Grant, Alan Hearns, Albert Wilson, and to some degree Mac Hollin and Lynn Bowden Jr. I would be interested to hear if Foster regrets joining the Dolphins given the number of receivers Miami now has. Following Foster's signing, the Dolphins signed Fuller and drafted Waddle. Hearns and Wilson made their return from opting out of the 2020 season official as well. Foster is a quality receiver but right now, he is a quality receiver that needs time to further develop and in Miami, he likely won't get enough opportunities and if he does, making the most of them may not be enough.